Hello everybody, Joel here. So yesterday morning on my way to work, I came out into the garage and it was pretty chilly. And I think the heater stopped running. At least that's what I thought yesterday, but I had to get to work. So um, I figured I would take a look at it today. And I'll take you along for the ride of just having a look and see what the troubleshooting process will be for this gas-fired garage heater. So I come over to the thermostat. This is usually the first place you want to check and I've got no power to the thermostat. So this thermostat is just a two wire thermostat up to the unit. And if I recall, it probably has a battery in it. So that'll be the first thing that we check out to see if the battery is good in the thermostat. Okay, so we'll pull the thermostat off. It should just pop right out. There we go. Looks like two uh, AAAs. So I'll go ahead and get a couple of AAAs and we'll get those in there. You can see where the two wires are terminated from the furnace itself. Let's replace these batteries. As you can see, the temperature in here is about 45 degrees. A little cooler than we usually keep it. I like to have it at about 58. Um, 58 degrees depending on what the temperature is outside we've had some chilly nights the past few nights actually single digits and um, I've replaced the battery uh, one thing about these digital thermostats uh, you do have to have the battery power obviously to make them run um, because there's no power coming from the furnace it's just uh, basically an on off switch uh, controlled by the temperature in the room so I don't know, a lot of you might remember the old Mercury days, uh, the old Honeywell round. Probably one of my favorite thermostats you could use that thing was bulletproof. Um, you didn't have to have any power, no batteries, just a two wire switch with the bubble of Mercury in it. I understand the troubles with Mercury, but um, those were the good old days. So let's go ahead and put this cover back on. There you have it, it just snapped right on there. And it's already firing up, so that was it. Dead battery. Uh, this furnace has been in here for probably about three years. Uh, the gas line was just hanging down from the ceiling. And I went ahead and installed this. Everything is insulated in the shop and the garage, so it works out really well. Holds the heat really well. Look at that, just firing up. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.